All right, I'm back, and it's time to talk about the albums that I got in the month of October. Uh, technically, still a couple days left, but I know I don't have any more albums coming, so I thought, let's do this. Let's talk about them. So let's start with the very first one, which is, as I hit my microphone, which this is uh, Ed Sheeran, Autumn Variations, Autumn Variations. I really do like this artwork. I know it's not maybe for everyone, but the artwork uh, style, I dig. I dig it a lot. Um, and the album itself is this sort of bright kind of orangey vinyl, um, which I dig. Um, if I'm being perfectly honest, this is not my favorite Ed Sheeran album of all the albums that I've got of his, but I think it's one that'll grow on me. I need to spend a little bit more time with it. Um, I, I love his music in general, and there's some great real like chill acoustic, you know, vibes on this album. So, uh, this is a good one. Um, the next one, this one I debated a, a, a little bit. I wasn't sure I was going to buy this one. I love the artist. I love the album, but I wasn't 100% sure I was going to buy this one. Um, and then I, I read um, his post about like kind of who the album is dedicated to. And it was such an endearing message um, that I wanted to listen to it a little bit more. And I'm glad I did because it's a very beautiful album. So I'm talking about Sufjan Stevens' Javelin. Um, I got it in the lemonade yellow vinyl, um, and this is a really beautiful album. Sufjan's music in general is beautiful. Um, I can't get the song, Will Anybody Ever Love Me, or Anybody Really Love Me? I can't remember the exact name of it, um, but I cannot get that song out of my head. It's a very, I say as I can't remember the name of it, but it's a very beautiful song, and um, the album in general, very, uh, very beautiful album. Um, this was dedicated to Sufjan's partner who passed away, uh, who seems like a very remarkable human being. And I love Sufjan, uh, coming out and dedicating that to him. I also really love, um, you know, I just want to send love out to Sufjan in general, who revealed as well that he's been dealing with some health issues and, uh, so just praying for his recovery and, um, comfort in this time, uh, in general. Uh, next up, one of my all-time favorite musicians, Glenn Hansard's new album. Um, this album is called All That Was East Is West of Us Now. <coughs> Pardon me. Which is quite a long title. Um, it's just on black vinyl. But this is a really interesting album because it kind of is everywhere. There are some really rocking, you know, electric guitar driven, distorted songs. And there are some super stripped back bear songs in here as well um i really love this album i love everything glenn hanser does and i can't wait to give it a few more listens so highly recommend that one um and then um i picked up green day dookie so this is the first punk album i ever owned when it came out in the early 90s um and when i heard it was being repressed i was very excited because i i wanted to get a press um, but at first I thought it was just going to be that like mega box set that came out for the 30th anniversary. I was glad to see there was just a single LP. I don't need all the stuff, but I'm happy to have the original album. And it's in this very like light blue, um, light blue pressing. So the next one, if I'm being perfectly honest, I debated buying this one. Um, I liked a lot of the songs that I heard off of it, but it wasn't really like blowing me away. And you know, there's just life there's expenses there's stuff going on so i was like am i gonna invest in it I, I don't know and then i listened to the whole album on streaming and i was like yeah it's a really good album i need it so i picked up blink 182's newest album one more time um i just got the plain black vinyl i didn't do any of the pre-orders uh even though they were available forever um and it is a great album not every track is a favorite but there are a lot of tracks on here that are really good and it definitely has that you know familiar Blink-182 vibe that we've known and loved for so long. Uh, I just got done seeing them on their tour that they did, the big world tour that they did right after Tom came back. I don't know that I would personally pay to go see the One More Time tour, but also, you know, I'm, I'm as I'm getting older, I'm a little bit more selective with what I see, and there's some bands I've never seen that I still want to see, so that's going to be a priority. But they put on a killer show. This is a killer album. Blink-182, still highly recommended. And the last album I got in the month of October um, 
uh, definitely one I pre-ordered as soon as I heard about it. Very pleased to have it. It's my favorite album by this artist. Um, and that is Taylor Swift's 1989 Taylor's version. Um, I got the, uh, they call this one a um, Crystal Skies Blue Edition. Uh, this is the first one that she announced. It's beautiful. The vault tracks are really beautiful. And I love it. And so this is a short video. Um, last month I had 11 new albums. This month just six. But I, I really am happy with the six that I got. Um, and I've got a few albums on pre-order for November that I can't wait to get. But uh, that's it.